All right, so here it is. Atlantic City sinking. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, for real. All right, what's up, everybody? So I planned on doing this a little bit earlier in the day, but we're here now, and we're going to try to pull it off before it gets dark. So the Hard Rock Casino in Atlantic City, they have a beach bar right and the ocean is just taking away the beach so the ocean's decaying the beach and the high tide line is just keeps getting closer and closer to the boardwalk and it has just decayed the entire underneath of the beach bar and it's just collapsing into the ocean so we're going to go film it and we're also going to be going by nicky scarfo's house where he used to live the infamous mafia boss so if if you don't know about Nicky Scarfo. He was the Philadelphia mob boss from like 1980 to like 1990. And he had Scarf Inc., which was a construction company in Atlantic City. So when like all the casinos were being built, he would basically force his way into that construction. And then he eventually got arrested, obviously. It's just some history of Atlantic City. And we're going to check that out today. I'm about to pick up my boy, Eddie, and we're going to roll out right now. So it should be a cool video. Welcome to the adventure. And today, yeah, join us for a trip to Atlantic City, New Jersey. What's up, brother? Dude, what's good? You all right? What are you doing? <laughs> Relaxing this damn rib. <laughs> Is it bad? Oh, yeah. I love it. So you ain't going to get in any, like, bar fights today or anything? No. You're going to have to protect me today. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't planning on anything crazy, so... We good. I was hanging out with this girl today, and I was like, please don't get me in any fights today. <laughs> I was just kidding with her, though. Maybe she was trying to tussle in the bedroom. Maybe. The one, her friend was like, yeah, at least that's got to wait at least two weeks. <laughs> Here, you can throw this on if you want. What is it? Just the mic. Oh, okay. You, do you know anything about the mob in Atlantic City? I know Midget Moley. <laughs> you know him or you know of him? Well, I, I know his brother very well. So that's your boy? Yeah. Nicky Scarfo, you heard of this before? I've heard of the name, but... Yeah. Nobody wanted Atlantic City Territory at the time. but he ended up He ended up turning it around and making it into like a very profitable territory. Was the, Were the casinos up yet? Oh, uh, they were going up from oh, like okay. 79, started taking over all the construction in Atlantic City, right? Yeah. Scarf Inc. was his company. Either way, he made Atlantic City profitable because he like took over a lot of the gambling stuff, like illegal gambling operations and stuff like that. Okay. So we're going to go buy the house that he used to live in. Oh, wow. Yeah, and check that out because I never did it before. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right. So a little mob history. Yeah, I, I didn't know anything about I know about Midget Moy, obviously, because of his brother. They just did a documentary on it. But uh, obviously, he was like the biggest drug pin back then he, and he'd walk around wearing a crown do you have a crown no i don't have the crown <laughs> <laughs> a crown any no oh man you need one but what's it called his his uh he has millions of dollars that they've never found because he hid it in ac somewhere they still don't know where it's at he probably buried it on the beach and now it washed well, out well he's it. he's he's uh straight edge now he doesn't do any uh illegal activities and yeah he probably dug up that that money and you know he said you know what it's a good documentary, though. So, I gotta check that out. What's it called? It's uh, Midget Moly, uh, the King of AC, or Atlantic, the King of Atlantic City, or something like that. Nicky Scarfo was known for flat out just like murdering people. Oh, geez. Like he murdered his his partner, like Vincent uh, Falcone, I think his name was. He had his own partner killed. He was one of the most ruthless mobsters. That's kind of reminds yeah. me of Goodfellas, uh, Joe Pesci. Maybe uh, he was one of the characters in Goodfellas. I have no idea. Yeah, because Goodfellas is all based off of real yeah. crime bosses. There, I, I mean, there's people that know detail for detail mob history. I don't, but I know some stuff just from, like, looking it up, obviously. I'm surprised his house is still standing. That's what's crazy. So what I saw on Reddit, you know, using Reddit as his source is, is crazy, but yeah. either way. The first two floors were his, and then Phil was like one of his partners had the top floor and then eventually they split it into six units. Okay. So now it's six apartments. Oh, so it's a big house then. Yeah, it's pretty big. We'll, we'll see it. I've never seen it in real life. I only ever saw a picture of it. 
this is pretty cool. We're about to pass Lucy the elephant. This is going to be a whole tour for everyone watching yeah, Lucy here. Lucy the elephant, man. That's been up for a long time, too. Did you ever go in there? I've been in there. I did when I was real young. Yeah, I took my uh, son's mother's daughter in there. All right, so we got Lucy the elephant. That was not a good angle of it, but... <laughs> Actually, it's the, best, it's the funniest angle there is. But, yeah, so that used to be a hotel back in the day, and they moved it from somewhere to here and then they actually moved it from one part of this island to an, to where it is now and then they just re repainted it and everything like last year or two years it's ago it's a lot bigger than people think too Ducktown Tavern Ducktown yep most places aren't as good as they used to be though. What's over here? We've arrived. So here we are. That place, it was called Ducktown Bar that he was pointing out. It's called that because this is the Ducktown area. This big monstrosity right here, <laughs> I think it's four stories, is the place. So this is the Mickey Scarfo house. As you can see, I think it's looks like at least six units probably so it's a massive structure wow and it's six individual buildings now right like apartments i'm pretty sure yeah. yeah there's three you can see there's three on this side sam yeah the meters yeah so there's at least three look at this cat right here that's it so we'll go check out the hard rock now right yeah we could do that so that's it Pretty simple uh, little tourist destination for some dark tourism. Yeah, you would have never thought either. If you that's even think. a true story, I mean... It's got to be. I said there's got to be because it, there's other things that they could talk about in the city, so... I'm just saying, this on Reddit, a, who would know? Yeah, I don't know. We got to fact check it, you know, pretty much. All right, fact check it. Is this the Nikki Scarfo house? Let us know in the comments. What did this guy get from McDonald's? Before we actually see up close what he's got, make a claim on it, everybody, in the comments. What did he get from Mickey D's? <laughs> he's saying come up further. The sites where you, nowhere else in the world could you get these sites, though. Yeah, this is awesome. In the dead of winter. So where we're going is just past that pier right there. We can't pass right there. Yeah, we can. It's just a little dip down. Is that cool with you? Yeah, that's crazy. You, I don't know how I'm gonna get down, bro. My hip. I mean, my rib. He got to just jump down. <laughs> <laughs> just start running dude you're good you'll make it oh my god oh bro <laughs> you're gonna be fine dude come all the way down here it gets oh lower. okay i didn't see that i didn't see that What happened was I saw a video of this on my friend's Instagram, right? Alex, his name is. And I was like, wow, that looks really cool. I'm about to go down there and check that out and film it so everybody can see how crazy it is. They dredge in New Jersey along the coast here, at least, not everywhere. Well, maybe everywhere. So they take the sand from way out there and pump it in to create a bigger beach, but they, after a couple years, it eats the sand away, as you can see from the wall over there. 
how tall it gets. Basically, this is what happened to the beach bar. Pretty crazy. Yeah, this is wild, right? Yeah, it is. Wow. Crazy because the hard rock's like such a symbol of uh, wealth. And it look really at this. This is just garbage everywhere on the beach. And, and when it's high tide, that water will come very close to here. And every year it's going to get closer and closer. This whole boardwalk, I think, one day is going to be under the, under the ocean. Can, you know what I could do? What? Like show the stage how it used to look and then show it here. You yeah. Know I mean? So that was like the stage where they would have bands play outside here. And you rent these out for like you and the homies. How much do you think they rent those for? I can only imagine. I don't or know they're just free. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you can just roll up and sit there. That looks like a car. <laughs> that is, a, is that a car? It looks like a car. Do we dare take a peek under the curtain? I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> it is a car. It's not a car, dude. It's like just literally just all oh, big seats that people sit on. It does look exactly like a car. It, it looks though. exactly like a car. I was too curious not to look. Although that would be, that'd be like crazy looking now. They got like a, oh, that's, a that's not even a speaker hanging out. <laughs> I thought that was a speaker. This thing's still holding it together. What is this, the bar? Probably. That's probably, yeah, that's probably where the people come over and uh, sit at. It's literally like the sinks and everything just destroyed. Like they're gonna have to buy a whole new beach bar this year. I don't think they're gonna do anything with this. You don't? No. I think they're gonna repair it and just start I over. I think they're gonna take the insurance money and run. Uh, that could be true, but this might not even be insurable it's so close to the ocean. Because this is their main tiki bar and this thing's doing fine. Yeah, they can keep that and oh, claim no, on that. Oh no, this is the land shark. So this is a different casino, right? I don't even think it's a casino. It's just a, yeah, I don't think a casino Oh no, it's that. yeah, it's part of uh, Margaritaville, you're right. Yeah. Been it in like 20 seconds. So like you can easily cut the dead spaces and get that down to a minute. All right, so here it is. Atlantic City's sinking. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, for real. If they didn't dredge, this would be no, was, a continuous eating away of the sand until there was you no You said, casino. what's sinking? And then you went right to me. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I know. I was just, just saying, like, I know. this is the real Atlantis over here. Yeah. The sunken city. <laughs> under here is crazy, though, because yeah. the the, one of the guys stole my GoPro, I went under there looking for him, and there's yep. a mole city under there. There's Illuminati signs. There's one that's at, look at that ghost. Look at that. Yeah, that's the, that's how Atlantic City should be, you know? The new water park right there. This is crazy. This is easily <sighs> two, three feet above my head right now. The corrosion is out of control. Look at this. Even, I'm like about six foot tall and my reach is pretty big. So this has got to be <laughs> eight feet. And that's how much sand is getting taken away. The dunes are just done for if they let this continue. Dude, that smelled horrible. Someone like pooped or something up there right where I was touching. Ew. Huh? They would need to dredge so much to get this back to its former glory. They're not getting it back. It's never coming back, right? It's not coming back. Look at this right here on the step. That's the beauty of it. That's why you gotta watch where you step, right? Yeah, that's exactly why you gotta watch where you step. No way. Maybe it's a warning. We were there for like, maybe 30 minutes max. And I forgot to pay the thing. And I got a $51 ticket. Complaint and summons. Got me. I don't see it posted though. It's still not, I could just pay it in like a month it says though. Yeah, yeah, you have plenty of time. To get yeah, because the ticket, the, the thing that you're supposed to pay is by that car Oh, we could have did that. 
Yeah, ourselves. Oh, I did. Oh, uh, I, I just thought it was that. winter time and they weren't enforcing it. I should. Yeah. I mean, think about how cold. Because I would have right thought, here. like, if I wouldn't have known that, I wouldn't have known that. I would go to court on that. That's what you get. So the Nikki Scarfo house. This is a day in Atlantic City. Collapsed beach bar and a fifty-one dollar ticket. <laughs> Welcome yep. to New Jersey. That's right. <laughs> Born and raised. <laughs> That's setting up the uh, navigation. Setting up the navigation in the new whip. Yeah. Where are you gonna put it? I don't know. You can either put it on the windshield, or you can put it. Who's that? The neighbor. Oh. Or right here, I guess. Wow, too nice, too fresh, too fresh, but check this out. So we got this package, hold on. I'm gonna bring it out through here and then all the way around. Look at Finn. No, she's not that cute. All right, so this company sent us the chair, the U-Ha chair. I have the shed as a full workshop now, and I think this is gonna be a perfect addition to have a nice office chair in the shed. So when I'm sitting down in there posting stuff or taking pictures or whatever, I still have somewhere real comfortable to sit for my back. Let's get this thing out of the uh, cardboard right here, though. You, ooh, ooh, ooh. Not what I was planning, but we're on it. First look is looking um, absolutely amazing. Not even gonna lie. Wow, this is actually pure luxury. Oh yeah, it's going down. So, you hot chair. Fire. I would have to say everything so far is wrapped quite nicely. So maintaining full quality from the factory. As it should be though, as it should be. They probably don't get a lot of returns. convening in this area because I put the these on the wrong side so I gotta take them off all right here we go the executive office chair let's say oh it's honestly so good exactly what I was just thinking if I was out here doing work like I'm gonna be for the next auction. And then I could stand up, take a picture, and then I could plop back down right here, post my stuff, you know, post on Facebook, whatever. Or I can use this in the garage as another office chair as well. But total beauty. So I usually do big shout outs for companies like the Yuha chair because it does give me and I'm sure other content creators reassurance that all the hard work that we've done does have value. It does feel good when big companies that make awesome products like this reach out and show love, send money, send products, send love or post us and use us in their Amazon ads, whatever that we're doing the right thing to get recognized by those companies. So it feels good. It's that simple. You hot chair. Finlay. Hey, Bean. She sees mom vacuum and says she likes to use the vacuum. Oh, you found stuff? Get out of there. Finn. 
Oh, your old boots are in there. They don't fit anymore, though. That's Mama's. Yeah, that's me and Mom. Hey, Finn. We're gonna go for a ride in the new car, alrighty? Alright, you wanna go? That's per paperwork. This stuff's private paperwork. Ooh, your boots are in there. They don't fit you anymore though, baby. Finn, you already chewed that apart and try to eat it. They're too small. Alright, I hope everybody enjoyed the video, today's video. So, I had something that I wanted to ask all the viewers. I wasn't sure whether to upload this video to here on the main channel or to our second channel, which is the Strange Occupations channel. Um, I opted to just put it up, see what happens. I feel like this year I'm going to change up the formula a little bit and not be so concerned about the view count on each video and try my best to actually just post more content. So what do you all think about that? Should I continue to put little adventures like this that aren't like a full, full video on this channel or should I leave these for the second channel? The debate is going in my head. I don't know exactly what to do, but I feel like the more content on the main one channel, the better. So I did think about making like a Tucker 2.0 where it's just like little adventures to abandoned places, historic places or movie locations, things like the Nicky Scarfo house or just videos that aren't as exciting as like a full episode but are still valuable in themselves. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And yeah, hopefully if all goes well, more, more, more content this year. Also, if you like the look of the U-Ha chair, I will leave all of the links that you need in the description of this video. I'm actually gonna put a pinned comment in the comment section that'll lead you right to the exact chair that was featured in this video. I always try to do, like I said, huge shout outs for these companies. Support those who support you, support companies who support me, fuel my channel, and just make this whole business a reality. So, you hot chair, check it out. But as you can see, palm trees, and we have made it to Miami Beach, so you know what that means. The next video is going to be all about Miami. So stay tuned, hoping to have that up by Sunday and Monday at the latest. So hope to see you all there. Peace out, everyone. Please like, comment, share the video. As always, keep pushing.